Hey fam, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some more ColourPop Cosmetics live swatches. I'm so freaking excited. It's part of their spring collection. Today I was supposed to be uploading an announcement video, but I'm moving it till tomorrow. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So I think I first want to start with the lips. I think that'll just be easier. Lippy sticks or the ultra mattes? Let's start with the lippy stick. Okay, so we have a cream, a matte, and a sheer. So let's start with the sheer. So this one here is called Croquette. Even though they say sheer, it's like not like too sheer. It feels great. This one feels like butter. Oh, it feels so smooth. Hmm. I love this pink. This is so pretty. It has just like a little fuchsia tone to it, I think, that I really like. What do you guys think? I think it's awesome. And it just feels nice. Sometimes it's nice to not have the mattes on. I also like that I feel if this were to um, fade away, it would leave a really pretty pink stain on your lips, I imagine. Here. The next one is called Crumpet, and this is a cream formula. Oh, it looks like it'll be maybe brighter. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So here is Crumpet. Loving these pinks. Ooh, Dolly. Mmm, I love it. I love bright pinks. This is so fun. Probably one of my most favorite makeup looks altogether. It's just like a lot of lash and like a bright pink lip. This is fresh. I like this pink. And I love the cream formula in the lippy sticks. It feels so hydrating and just like really plushy. The next one is a matte formula. This is called Hype Girl. This is gorgeous. Yes, this looks just like what I wanted actually to wear today. I was looking for a shade like this to wear today and this would have been perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this. I need a moment of silence in honor of this gorgeous specimen. This is so beautiful. I'm, I just took off my eye makeup because I was like, yeah, time to roll on to the shadows and the liners. And I forgot we still have these ultra matte lips here. How could I forget? They're always my favorites. What should we start with? Okay, so I'm kind of like feeling the pink scene at the moment. So let's start with the pink. This shade is called Spritz. Spritz. S-P-R-I-T-Z. <laughs> Why did I spell it for you? That's the worst thing I've ever done. Oh, it's just, it looks like, like an amplified version of like the, my already lip color right now. Do you know what I mean? So pretty, right? Just a great pink. Okay, so the next shade is, ooh, nice. Like a salmon orangey, like a salmon coral. What is this called? Botanical, yeah. I like the name Botanical. I like when you pull this up and you can see the product go, mm, I'm excited by this one. Oh. Okay, why have I not been wearing orange lips? I forgot how much I love orange lips. Not that this is like orange orange, it's, but it's definitely more orange than coral. Like a, an electric melon maybe? I don't know. All my bronzed babes out there, all my women of color, these lips are gonna be so intense and amazing on you. Like, <clears throat> I can't wait to be a little bit tanner so that I can really like slay this because I just feel like if you have color in your skin, God bless you, this is gonna be beautiful on you. This one, Super jazzed about. I think this is gonna be my thing. This is Naked Ladies, which is like those houses in San Francisco, right? It was very cool to visit those on my benefit weekend trip that I went to like years ago. So let's do this. But for real, for real, I think this is about to be my jam. Mm hmm. I just found my favorite ColourPop lip ever invented. This is it. Naked ladies, I should have known I love you because I love naked ladies. Not in a pervy way, I'm just celebrating our beauty, but oh my god, yes! This is everything. By the way, my top ColourPop video is coming up, you guys. I've just been actually like taking time to lay all the lips out, all the eyeshadows out, all the eyeliners out, and like really swatch them again, look at them again without, because I don't just want to be like, oh, this is my favorite, this is my favorite, without like actually, you know, remembering okay, it's pretty, but did it wear nicely? Like, you know, that glitter is beautiful in it, but did the glitter really stay on? Like, there's a lot of factors I really put into a favorite. That's the only reason why it's not up yet, but don't think I'm not working on it. I'm pretty much almost done. So hopefully next week, back to my new life, my new baby, my new obsession. This is going to be my lip of the summer. <sighs> I truly think this is like my favorite ColourPop lip ever invented. Like it's a little retro almost, you know what I mean? Like I like that it's a red kind of pink, jaw feel, jaw definitely feel. Shit's dope either way. Let's do liners next and then we'll do all of the shadows last because that's like a lot. Okay, so I have two of the pencil liners here. I have the shade Honey Dude, which is hilarious. It's like a nude. And then the shade Teaspoon. I love their names, they're so creative. So I'm gonna use these pencil liners on my waterline and save my top lines for the gel liners. So here we have Honey Dude, it's like a nude. 
mood, like an inner rim brightener probably. Let's see here. I'm interested to see if it's tuggy or if it's smooth. Oh wow, it's really smooth. Look at it going right on. Wow, ColourPop! I don't know if it's just because it's a lighter color. This was probably definitely the smoothest ColourPop liner I've tried yet. I love it! Oh, I shouldn't have done it on both eyes. Oh, I'm a dork! I'm like rusty at this live swatching video. No, really, it really did brighten up. It looks really nice. It looks like it's gonna stay put too. I did my very best to remove that one. Now we're gonna go in with Teaspoon. I'm so excited for this. I love greens. Isn't that fun? I look like a Christmas tree now. Now this is where the live swatching gets a little freaky when I start having like pieces of makeup everywhere that doesn't really make much sense with the others. So sorry if it starts to look crazy. Now I have five new Super Shock shadows, you guys. I'm so excited. So the first shade I have here is called Wattless. Ooh, that's really gorgeous. Looks like a little muted, which I really like. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger because a lot of times, you guys know that's the best way to apply these. But I like, um, I have an Ofra eyeshadow brush that I really like to apply them with too. I think, I feel like synthetic brushes pick it up the best. Ooh. Boom, doesn't that look like a whole makeup look right now? Like right on the side of my face? Like that was just like a really easy look to do. This is an awesome shadow. It's like not too dark, but it's also not too muted. There's enough color in there, but not too much where you feel like you're wearing pink or purpley makeup, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of just perfect. Oh, I am jazzed for this color. I can already tell this is gonna be my thing. So this one's called Flutes. There's Flutes, ah! Oh my gosh, it's like so mustardy and amazing. Ah! Get on my eyeball right now. I've been searching for a shade like this. Oh my goodness. Is this not life? That green liner is kind of ruining it for me, but. I freaking love this shadow. I always just love unique shadows. Like, oh, that's such a unique color. Sorry, my blending is a joke. Oh, I just realized I didn't even do the gel liners yet in the pots. I'm just like skipping all over the place. I'm a mess today, you guys. Okay, so now we're getting into some fun teals in like aqua, turquoise. This is in the shade Belladonna Lily. That is a name full and I like it. Wow, that is like pool turquoise. This one seems to be a little bit drier than the other ones. I don't know if that's just because of the shade or if I got like one maybe that was completely open, but you see how it's a little crumbly? They're not always like that. Okay, I love it so much. <laughs> That is so fun. Doesn't it make you think of summer? Oh, I love this blue. Plus it's like turquoise, like my birthstone. December babies, what up? This is flower shop. That's really cute. And it's a little bit more shiny. It's like, oh, it's a pearlized finish. Okay. See, now this one's super duper smooth, like how they normally are. Maybe it's just the matte formulas tend to be a little bit more dry. I guess I have noticed that. So I guess that probably is it. Oh, wow, goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, talk about mermaid makeup. This is like about as mermaidy as it gets, wow. I have so many cool ideas for this shadow eye, or at least I'm just feeling very inspired by it. I hope you guys can see how cool it is. It like changes like different green tones. It's like awesome. And then the last shadow looks unreal, you guys. It looks like such a rich, like royal purple blue. This one's called Luckfully, and it looks, <gasps> Isn't this everything? Oh my gosh. If I was like a superhero, like this is what I'd want the color of my costume to be, I think, because that's just like entrapping. Is entrapping a word? Well, it's luckfully even a word. I rest my case. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. That is definitely like deep ocean blue. I want to put a little bit of this in the center. <laughs> How cool is that? What do you guys think? I like love adding like colors to each other. <gasps> this is like probably one of my favorite ColourPop collections yet. Just because of like the colors. The colors are so just like beautiful to me. Okay, last but not least, excuse all this, but we're gonna use this eye for the gel liners. Two of the pot gel liners, or I'm sorry, they're called the cream gel colors. The first one here, oh goodness, I can never get these open. FYI, you guys, I know I always say this, but if you're having trouble getting your gel pots open, because I always have a little bit of a difficult time, which is a good thing, they're just really sealed tightly, you just run it under hot water for like a few seconds and it opens up. But I'm sure you guys already knew that, you're all so smart, so geniusy. You teach me new things every day. Okay, let's do teaspoon. This is a Smith 202 brush. I just got some Smith brushes and um, it looks very intricate. It 
It's a little bit more dry. It's not quite as smooth as some of the other colors have been. Still really like it because it's extremely matte. So even though it's not super smooth, I really don't mind because I love how matte it is. That is awesome. And then the last shade is, I think is Desanso. I'm sorry if I'm totally butchering that. I've never been one for pronunciations. Oh, but it's a lovely royal purple. I'm gonna look freaking crazy here in a second, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> This is so much color on my face. Like, this is how I look when I'm leaving the bar. It's actually kind of like Barney colored, I think. Oh my god, is there like blue freaking sparkle in this? I need a better brush. I'm gonna use the Smith 302. It's kind of an interesting, looks like an angled shadow brush, but I'm gonna try it with some liner. Oh my god, you guys, there's literally blue glitter in here. I thought that this was just gonna be a basic purple, but look how non-basic it is. What a little hidden gem. Everyone's gonna look at this online and be like, meh, it's just a little basic purp purp. But little do they know, it's like magic fairy purple with glitter in it. Alright, fam, well that is it for today's life watching video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I'm gonna go now, wash all this off, because I look insane. But let me know what your favorites were, let me know what you're gonna be picking up or have picked up already. So yeah, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I got a ton of requests to do do more fitness videos since you guys know that I did lose a little bit of weight this year. If you need to catch up on my weight loss journey, I will link it in the bottom box down below.